Here's a recent Ask the Mystery question. Is there a way to preview the clues? The answer is yes, and it's really easy to do. When you open an Ask the Mystery, you'll see that there are three versions of the Ask the Mystery. There's the version with no chart, there's a version with a static chart, and then there's a version with an animated chart. To preview an Ask the Mystery, I like to open up the slide that has the animated chart on it. I'll just click on that, and then it's really easy to see the clues on the side here. So the clues that we're working with in this Ask the Mystery are the answer is greater than 20, the answer is less than 41. The answer is part of this pattern. The answer does not include the digit three and the answer is not 24, 26, or 28. I think it's also helpful to preview the Esta mystery, so I'm simply going to play this slide. The answer is greater than 20, so I know that any of these numbers are going to be eliminated. Clue number two, the answer is less than 41, so I know that any of these numbers are going to be eliminated. Clue number three, the answer is part of this pattern, 22, 24, 26. So I know that these numbers will still be on the chart. Clue number four, the answer does not include the digit three. So I know that all of these numbers will be eliminated. And clue number five, the answer is not 24, 26, or 28. So all of those numbers will be eliminated. At this point, not only have I seen the clues, I also know that the final decision is going to come down to 22 or 40. I always like to take a moment to think about my own personal estimate and now I have it ready and then I'll click forward and I can see the reveal box and this will be either 22 or 40. I'm thinking about my answer and then I can click and there it is. Okay, let's look at another example that is from grades 3 through 8. And again, we can see all three versions of the estimate mystery, the version with no chart the version with the static chart and the version with the animated chart. I'm going to use that one to preview the Esta mystery. And right away I can see the five clues. It's really easy to preview them. The first one, the answer is greater than 40 and less than 80. So I know that I'll be dealing with greater than and less than. Clue number two, cross off the odd numbers. Clue number three, the answer does not include the digit five or the digit six. Clue number four, double 37 and eliminate that number. And clue number five, the answer is not a multiple of six. So again, just by looking at this one slide ahead of time, I already know that the concepts I'll be working with are greater than and less than, odd numbers, specific digits, doubling a two digit number, and multiples of six. And again, before the lesson, I like to click through all of the clues on the animated chart. So here's the animated chart. Clue number one, the answer is greater than 40 and less than 80. So I know that these numbers will be eliminated. Clue number two, cross off the odd numbers. So I know that all of these odd numbers will be eliminated. Clue number three, the answer does not include the digit five or the digit six. So all of these numbers and all of these numbers will be eliminated. Clue number four, double 37 and eliminate that number. And I know that if I double 37, the result is 74. So this number will be eliminated. And clue number five, the answer is not a multiple of six. So all of these multiples of six will be eliminated. And then I know that the final conversation will come down to 44 or 70. So again, I like to take a moment to estimate myself. And now I have my estimate ready and I'll click forward. Here is the reveal. I'm thinking about my estimate and this is the number. Okay, again, it's really easy to preview the concepts and the clues in an estimate mystery. You can do that really by clicking on any of these three slides. I just like to use this slide personally because it also allows me to see the chart and to anticipate which numbers will be eliminated by each clue.